Today, we dive deep into the mystery of Petition E-4701, why did it garner so few signatures when opposition to the Trudeau government is reportedly high? Why does E-4701 have only 386,698 signatures? Is it because standing against the government might lead to higher taxes or other problems, and I can't afford that right now? Or is it because people feel my voice won't make a difference anyway, so why bother signing? Or people are just too busy with work and life to get involved in politics? Before we delve deep into this, hit the subscribe button. And our mission is to provide independent, insightful content that keeps you informed and engaged. But to continue this vital work, we need your support. Consider donating today to help keep our channel alive. Critics argue that the government might use its power to target those who express dissent, potentially subjecting them to increased taxes, audits, or other financial penalties. This fear is not unfounded, as there have been historical instances where individuals who criticized the government faced legal or financial consequences. Moreover, the petition was mysteriously frozen. If fear is dictating actions, what does this mean for Canadian democracy? Is it merely a facade if citizens are too intimidated to express their views? Are they afraid of what people call the dictator? Some people might not sign the petition because they believe their voice won't make a difference. They think that even if they express their concerns, the political party called the NDP, New Democratic Party, won't vote against Justin Trudeau anyway. So they feel like their signature won't change anything in the end. This can lead to frustration and disengagement from the political process, making people question the impact of their participation. Another probable reason some people might not sign the petition is that they are too busy with their jobs, family, and daily life. They might feel that getting involved in politics requires time, an effort that they simply can't spare. This busy lifestyle can make engaging with political issues or petitions challenging, even if they have concerns or opinions. So it's not that they don't care, but they feel overwhelmed by their daily responsibilities. However, this stark difference raises questions about public awareness and engagement. As we continue to unravel these questions, one thing is clear, the heart of our democracy lies in fearless participation. It's time to reflect on what might be holding us back. Thank you for joining us.